Hi, everybody. There's a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. There's something that I have been working with my students for a number of years, and uh, I was trying to figure out a way to present it in, uh, in, in a Zoom call because it really is incredibly vivid and effective whenever I do it in person, because it's something where I can actually get my hands on you and, and you can feel what's going on here. But uh, talking about it is a little tougher and also training it. But I, I think I've got something that I'd like to, to uh, work with you on. And uh, this is something that it, it, the shorthand name for it was Boom Meat Fill. And uh, it's a three-step process that actually includes many sub-steps that, um, the, uh, let me explain first what, what the, the boom part is, is that getting your three pillars in, that you're getting them established so that you are connected to the big G, that you're integrated, that you're in central equilibrium, that you're in, in energetic coherence, and you're ready to go. And uh, so there's a whole body energetic connection. I call it boom because it's something that we, usually when we set it up in a class like this, we go through it very methodically and we will, and, and, and when we're doing this, go through it very methodic, methodically so that we really establish each step of the way so that you, you get it. And so that you're, you're plugged in, the chi is flowing. And before we do anything else, you got, you got those three pillars in. Reason why I called it boom was that you want to be able to get that so that you are so comfortable with that process and so familiar with that process that it's just like that. You, whenever the challenge comes up, let's say in a push hands context, someone, someone goes to push and how long does it take for you to establish your three pillars? It should be boom. It's like, oh, you do that. You do that as your first order of business. You get those three in and it's not necessarily sequential. Um, well, it is kind of sequential. You, you really want to get your energetic coherence in first and your central equilibrium. But a lot of this is you're kind of rolling it over. In other words, you're you're establishing it as your default setting so much that it's a thought away. So instead of it being like a process of several minutes of, of trying to establish these, these principles, getting that so that you're really loaded up and ready to go, it's something that you can do in less than a second. So that was that was the, the why the name boom came out of it. So it's like, ah, boom. So get that done. Get your three pillars are, are established, so re you're ready to go. And then the second stage was to meet, to meet the incoming energy, force, whatever. And by meet, we mean to engage in a conscious way, intentionally. So what the boom does is it, it establishes your state of being, it establishes you as a whole being, energetically connected up to this bigger entity, the yin chi of the earth and the yang chi of the heavens, you're plugged into nature. And, but it's, you are establishing your form, your body mind as an independent entity that is plugged into a much bigger, you become part of a much bigger system. So you're simultaneously a part and a whole. You're a you know what what I called a whole on in, in, in Western Gate. That is your there's wholenesses within wholenesses, and you're a wholeness that is connected to a much bigger wholeness. And as a result, you're able to feed from that connection. So, but once you've established your state of being, you're in that state of wholeness. That's that's fantastic. You're plugged in. You're ready to go. Now what? That's where we meet. We that is we engage something, I engage something that is not me, that is something other. So if that, say, uh, say I have a punch was coming in, to engage that punch, 
as something other, I have to meet it. And in so doing, by consciously encountering that, not as a, an it, that is an object that is about to do me harm, but as you, that is, oh, this is you doing that. Okay, so it establishes an entirely different state of awareness, a state of uh, a, a mental, different mental state, what I called a non-objective awareness that is also toggling with an object-based consciousness. So you're able to shift back and forth. So anyway, you're, you're able to shift into an entirely different state of being where you are actively engaged in this body, mind, spirit integration or super consciousness. So that meeting is, is where we've gone from the, the wholeness of, of my body, mind as, as, as one thing to meeting this other and engaging in a way that dissolves some of that, that opposition that comes by looking at it as an object. So that, and when we do that, something cool happens. We're, we're, in, this, we're in this space, mental space, where the thoughts clear and your, your mind is very clear and you're able to activate in the present time. So from that, the third stage is fill. So the idea of fill is you are moving. So after you've made that contact, you are extending into the space that is part of that other thing. And that thing that you are meeting, you are encountering it and you're, you're filling that is you're energetically and physically shifting into that space. So this is counter to our normal reaction, which is whenever we meet a uh, something which is challenging is the tendency to tighten up and withdraw. And this goes completely counterintuitively and says, no, no, reach into it. You encounter it in such a way as to, to become part of a shared system. And with the intention that you're going to uh, provide the, the, uh, the consciousness for that shared system that's going to be, you're the one that's going to be driving the bus at that point. So we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do a little bit of that. Um, first of all, any questions on anything I've said so far? It should become a little clearer uh, if we, uh, as we do this. I know the people present have all heard these words before, uh, but there's you know people on YouTube and whatnot that will uh, will get a chance to uh, to play with it. And no matter how many times you've heard these words, there's it's still deeper. It still goes deeper. It's a, an opportunity. And what I'm going to do here is give you a so, something a way of practicing that when you don't have a partner, something, and to then make it as part of not just your practice, but your life. In other words, you you get this, you're able to encounter the world in this capacity of being able to be moving from a state of wholeness to meet and engage in a way that allows you to function at a very high level in life, but also in the present moment. So that you're kind of opening up to a, uh, a broader spiritual dimension by, the, by actually doing this. So let's, uh, why don't we stand up and let's play with this. All right, so first thing we're gonna do Feet about a hip width apart. We're going to establish the three pillars. We've done this lots of times before, but we're going to take our time today because I really want you to feel that by doing it slowly and thoroughly, you can then see where there are things that maybe get 
um, glossed over. So feel, feel your feet, feel the feet touching the, the ground, the floor, feel the balls of your feet. And your weight is primarily on the inside of your foot, but it's kind of spread out throughout the whole foot as well. We're just using the, the balls of the feet as our contact point. And these are unlocked, not to bend them much, just unlock them and establish them so they're kind of right up over top of the balls of the feet. And it gives you this sense of, of kind of a, a, a forward direction, even though you're actually standing vertically, you may feel like you're like on the edge of a diving board or something. There's a, a, a vector that is, that is heading forward, even though you are balanced and centered. It's an active yang kind of energy. Reach with the crown of the head. So we're reaching with the knee one. In doing so, opening the jade pillow gate at the base of the skull. Tuck in the chin. I'm going to feel a tug on the muscles at the back of the, uh, at the back of your neck. You feel that because what we're doing is we're by by pulling on that, getting that, creating that tug, it creates some tensegrity in the in the system. That is, you're you're lengthening the connective tissue, and you're opening a very important place in the um, in, in the energy system at the jade pillow gate. This is where we access our uh, our Jingshan, your the spirit of vitality. And relax your lower back. And drop your sacrum while still reaching up for the crown of the head. So you're lengthening the spine, opening space between the vertebrae. This allows for a smoother flow of cerebral spinal fluid from the dural tube that surrounds your spinal cord and surrounds your brain. So this nourishes, feeds, and energizes the nervous system. It radiates throughout the whole body. And also by the jade pillow gate is located right at the medulla oblongata which is the part of your brain that controls your breathing, your heart rate, and many, many of the other functions. And it connects up with the, the dantian, the, the, the sea of vitality below your navel, the lower, lower abdomen. It connects that up through the vagus nerve. So we're getting a lot, a lot of going on here on the physical level which has the effect of, of creating a lot of energetic connection. So we're taking our time with this, just so you really get the feeling of this three pillars. So what we've established so far is just the first pillar, or the, yeah, the first pillar, the, the central equilibrium. Now you want to feel the index fingers, reach with that, and maybe even wiggle a little bit. And by doing so, you're establishing energetic coherence throughout the, through the, throughout the body mind. Feel into your hands and notice that there's a lot of activity going on there as the chi is circulating throughout the whole body. Reach with your elbows, 
so your arms are slightly rounded. Your arms are still hanging. You're, you reach with the elbows to relax and open the shoulder joints. Push away from the earth just to get, get the feeling of, of reaching upward and then uh, spiral down and turn. And just so you're sinking down into your base, you're releasing the hip areas. So you're getting sung kwa, sung being releasing into the intrinsic structure. So all this is a very passive way of loading up with lots of chi and tapping into the big chi, the chi of the heavens and earth, the yin chi of the earth, the yang chi of the heavens. So we're, we're no longer just limited to the chi of our bodies. The energy is moving through us. We're a conduit for our much bigger energy. So this is the boom part. That is being able to get into this really quickly. We've taken our time here, taken a couple of minutes to do this. Ideally, you want to get it so it's so comfortable, so uh, familiar that you can get into it in less than a second. And that you also establish your three pillars as a, a default setting throughout the day so that you're able to go into that in and out all day, anytime you want. The more you can just go there, it um, makes it that much more familiar, more predictable, and you have more confidence. So now, so once we got the boom, we're going to go to the meat part. M E E T. And the idea here is let's say you reach out with your right hand and you make contact, wrap your, your left hand around your right wrist. So in this case, we meet by feeling. We physically feel the sensations in our, in our arms. And to really fine tune it, you can feel your left hand with your right wrist. So you can, by doing that, you're focusing on the sensations primarily in the right wrist. You're still feeling the other stuff, but it's not part of your consciousness. You're not consciously, intentionally feeling the, uh, the left hand, feeling with the left hand. You're feeling with the wrist. Now shift that and feel the wrist with the left hand. So we've gone to a, a different part of the brain. We've actually gone to the other side of the brain because we... When we feel the right wrist, we're using the left side of the brain. When we feel the, the left hand, we're going to the right side of the brain. So it, we're crossing over there. And by shifting back and forth, we then create this really neat connection, this hemispheric synchronization in the brain. But being able to consciously feel that and deliberately feel that to the exclusion of just about everything else is, is an important skill and it's not something to be taken for granted. Because it's something that you've been doing your whole life on a pre-conscious level. But to make it conscious then creates a whole different brain state and a different state of awareness, a different state of being. You get very centered, grounded, very present. So this is the meeting part. So put your hands down 
And let's do it the other side. Pick up your left arm and bring your right hand over the wrist. And I'm not gonna walk you through that this time. I just want you to go through those steps yourself. You're feeling with one and then the other. And just so you get that conscious feeling. So in doing this, we're meeting. That is, who's meeting? I am. I'm meeting and I'm meeting my body in, in, this, in this situation here. I've created a separation so that I can then create a, a connection between these. Before that separation, everything was pre-conscious. Now it's very conscious. By separating first and then unifying, there creates this really magical event. So now, once we've done the meat, keep you hold the wrist with your hand and reach out as if you're like not pushing your arm out, but just reach out as if your arm is being blown up by a, um, like a pump. It's like a, like a balloon, like one of those long balloons that you just pump it up and you watch it kind of growing as it, as it fills up. So just feel like you're, you're filling up and feel the resistance as your hand holds your wrist. Feel that pull there on your skin and beyond the skin, to the layer below that. So you're, you're feeling into the, the way the skin kind of slides over the muscles. You're feeling into the connective tissue system here. And doing this creates an energetic connection that livens up the whole body mind. So let that go. Do with the right arm, bring that up and grab with the wrist. So you're feeling the boom, you get your cent central equilibrium, your energetic coherence, your sun quiet, and you meet. And this is a sequence here. You're meeting, first is boom, then there's meet. Ah, you're feeling what's going on there. You're feeling that without telling yourself a story without saying, oh, this is what's going on here. I see that, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what if I do this? No, no, you're just feeling and feeling directly without adding any extra narrative to it. Now, just reach forward with your right arm and feel the pull. So what we're doing is we're filling. We're filling by creating this tensegrity in the system energetic coherence, and we're energetically filling the space. So if you can imagine that it's someone else grabbing your wrist as you're doing this, and just say, oh, I'm going to do these three steps. I'm going to get my three pillars in, boom, feel, feel that person's hand, and then just calmly gently reach and fill that space. So you're feeling there's a, a unity that gets formed between the two bodies when you do that. And with when that happens, all the energy coherence and wholeness that you're feeling inside your body then becomes the dominant voice in that conversation. You are driving the bus. When, when that happens. So suddenly that, that hand that's grabbing you, it doesn't matter how tight it is, it becomes a no threat. It becomes just something that is part of, part of the system that you now occupy. Okay, so let's, uh, so this is a way to, to, to test it on yourself and, and just to kind of play with that. And you can do that by touching objects too. You can just, Feel that and just fill. You can, you know, if you, uh, if I go to this wall over here and I establish my three pillars, boom, I feel the wall with my hand and then I gradually expand into that. 
so that I'm feeling a continuity throughout my whole body from my fingertips through my feet and into the earth. There is no break in that. So that, that's the uh, one way of practicing this. So you're getting so you're getting that sense of energetic connection where you're leaning more on the chin, the energetic uh, component, than you are on the, the muscular force, the lead. So now let's uh, let's do something with this. So step forward with your left foot. And we're going to play with this as though we had a partner there. And our partner is going to be the space that we're occupying. So imagine that the space is a very viscous fluid. That it's, um, you know, like you're, you're doing this in, you know, at the very least, like, say, a swimming pool. But you can also think of it as like doing it in peanut butter. You know, you're, so you reach out with your left hand and feel the resistance of the peanut butter as you're moving through it. Let's say creamy. And so you feel that and now pull back with your left elbow, feeling that resistance of the, of the space as you do that. Now, as you're doing that, now reach forward with your right hand and feel the resistance of the space as you do that. And also feel the, the two hands pulling against each other. So as we do that, we're, we are filling. We're, by feeling that first, we're meeting and then we fill. We, reach out with the left hand, pull back with the right. So you're reaching back with the right elbow and reaching out with the left hand. Pause halfway and just kind of play with that and just feel like there's filaments between the hands on filaments extending out into the space. And then continue and reach. Now reach out with the right hand, pull back with the left elbow, feel very slowly, feel those two pulling against each other. Pull back with the right hand, lead with the right elbow. Yeah. Shoulders are very relaxed. Arms are very relaxed. You're feeling it on a very insubstantial level. Now step back with your left foot. Now step forward with the right foot. And feel your weight sinking into the left leg. Step back a little bit so you can see. Okay. And bring your arms up and reach out as you turn your body, reach out with your right forearm and feel yourself in that ward off position. Just feel that. Pull back with your left hand and feel the feel that the the filaments between your hands. And turn, reaching out. Now you're just feel yourself as you turn, reaching out. 
and pulling back with your hands at the same time you're reaching out with the fingers. Your body is doing the, your torso is doing the turning, your qua is doing the turning. And then sink into the right leg, bring your right forearm up and then oh, feel that. Feel, now reach with your elbows. And feel the energy in that, in the body mind through the whole system. Feel the filling that is occurring. Your body is being is filling with with the with the chi as you fill in contact with the space. So rather than be happening all inside your body, you are connecting up to something other, the space that you occupy. Okay. And now bring your left foot up and and we're going to reach as we turn reach with the right arm feel that resistance there and pull back with your left hand as you do that now sink into your left leg and spiral down to the right and turn and feel that connection as you are filling, boom, meet, fill. You're meeting the space and then you're filling by occupying the space, creating an energetic connection with the space that you're occupying. You're, the space that you occupy is now your partner in this process. Turn, feel that connection, pause. Feel yourself reaching, expanding into the space, opening up. Very big, reaching out, feel yourself expanding, your whole body is opening. Feel the connection between the hands. The hands are pulsing together. Let's sink into the right. Left hand comes down. Sink into the left and turn. Open, feel that big open structure, feel the hands talking to each other, feel the central equilibrium, the energetic coherence, the sun qua, the you're opening, you're unkinking the hose. Bring your hands down. Step in. And bring your hands up in front of you. Now we're going to make it really small. But using the same process, we're going to take that big energy and we're gonna bring it down into a small form while retaining the big energy. And that requires even more focus, even more feeling. So feel the boom, you got your, your three pillars, you meet the space and reach out with your left hand, pull back slightly with your right. Now reach out with the right hand, pull back slightly with the left.
Do it again, this time a little smaller. Reach out with the right, a little bit smaller. Left, a little smaller still. Right. Left. Right. Almost infinitesimal now. Now the only space is being, the only distance is covered is only in your thought. You're feeling what it would take. You're feeling the, the movement in your hands, your body without actually moving. And feel the energy as you do that. Feel the pulsing that occurs between your hands. Bring your hands down. And this time very quickly, boom. You lift your hands, meet, fill. Do it again. Hands come down. Boom. Meet. Fill. Hands down. And bring that in as a potentiality, something that exists in your awareness as a potentiality, but you don't have to do it right now. You have the capacity of activating boom, eat, fill anytime you like. But you don't have to. Feel the energy in your body mind. Feel the pulsing going on in your body. Step in. Take a deep breath. <laughs> and disappear the chi. Dissolve into the emptiness. Let all that go. Please take a seat.
How was that, Rick? <laughs> Filling is thrilling. <laughs> I mean, I got, I got, you know, I, I had a whole flash dance thing with the water coming down on me. <laughs> And, and I also, it brought me right back to the first time I met you uh, in the early 2000s, where you again turned me into Electro. I mean, the, it, was, it was again thrilling once more to feel the full power of the connection, the electrical connection. I uh, went through my body, down my leg, between my hands. It was like embracing an old friend. <laughs> Wonderful. That's, that's beautiful. Thank you. That's, that's great. Wonderful, Thank wonderful you. <laughs> description. Thank you. Valerina. Um, I don't think you can revisit this too much. You know, there, there is no such thing as, because it's always the first time, right? Um, Every once in a while, I'd have a thought. Well, I have to remember to say that. I have to remember to say that. And now I, I can't. <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> any of those things. Um, but it was, it was very great to take it slowly like that through each step. Um, I really like I, I, every single part. You know, always standing in uh, the three pillars is it's always like, wow, I can do that. I'm always, it always surprises me, which I, I adore that I, I'm surprised by it. Um, and the meeting, you know, at, oh, okay, I touched the door jam. And I was meeting the entire wall. And I was the wall with me and I was the wall. I mean, I thought it was just the door jam, but no, it just went on and on. Nice. Uh, and the filling. no words. And then I, I'm really, really starting to, I, I, the word isn't understand, but experience when we close and letting go of it all. Mm. There's always me that, no, 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 that I don't really want to let go of that. <laughs> you know, it felt so great. Um, and my words are stepping into the void. Okay. And what happens when I experience that? Since my session with you, especially, it's a whole new ball game. You know, it's just up and down and in and out and pretty amazing. So thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for those beautiful words. I appreciate that. That was, the lady, that, that was the lady who had nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> and furthermore, <laughs> yeah, um, holy crap comes to mind. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that was that was a, seriously a whole new level of energy in my body. That was, I mean, I can't I can't describe most of it, but yeah, that was uh, wow. That was really really um, cool. And it was I was I was having um, my shoulders were giving me trouble, like like just like on the tops, the tension on the tops, which I don't normally get. Um, but as I got, you know, as I released into it and let it go, I knew I was doing it right when the shoulders would release. And when I was doing something wrong, it would come back a little, you know, when I was doing starting thinking or something, it would come back a little bit. I was like, oh, that's a good barometer right there. Mm, nice. But, uh, that was, um, yeah, all, the, wow. That was, um, yeah, the meeting, everything was just uh, really flipping cool. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good. Good. Um, well, each of you has actually worked with me in person, so that's good. But this is for people who might be checking out on YouTube and and whatnot. The uh, just to say that uh, if you get a chance, you should definitely find a way to to, to feel it in person. 
you know, because there is there's uh, different levels of understanding that can be uh, and and doing it each, over and over again is also important. Just each because each time you go there, it's the first time, and uh, it learning how to acclimate to this this new way of being is uh, uh, it takes some takes some practice, takes some time, takes some familiarity, but it's all fun. And you get bigger. You get bigger. <laughs> Where he says you get bigger. Better you know, you know. dressed up on the porch. <laughs> <laughs> he was taking up too much of my room. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, thank you all so much. That was and, definitely. Uh, oh. Oh, you gonna say something? Yeah, I was just gonna say that was yeah. I definitely got the boom meat fill on a. I mean, I'd never got it anywhere near that level. So that was all. Okay. That was Good. all. Whole, yeah, whole, whole. Nice, yeah. nice. Instantaneously, too, was really cool. Great, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. beautiful. Yeah, and don't, don't let it end here. Do it tomorrow. Do it the next day. Yeah, I yeah. think you know. Every morning I get up, my hand feels my knee, my knee feels my hand, and both and opposite. Tomorrow the wall is going to be meeting me. So <laughs> <gonna> be <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Good, good, good. Okay, great. Thank you all. Thank you, Maria. I love you. Guys. Uh, yes, happy Merry holidays, Christmas, everybody. <laughs> happy New Year. Bye. We'll bye, bye. New Year. Happy Christmas, we'll guys. New... We'll be yeah. seeing you before New Year, yes? Yes. yes. Next yeah. Tuesday, right? Yeah. Next Tuesday, yeah. Yeah. All right. Happy, happy, happy Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. See you next Tuesday. Happy Hanukkah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>